welcome 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 everyone come on in and have a seat and let's talk about my seven Big Mama Jama Phalaenopsis Orchids Growing Indoors. I am Fab Pal Darrell. I've been growing almost three years now, and I want to share with all of my viewers how I am maintaining my orchids by keeping you guys updated each and every month, okay? So if you want to see my miniature Phalaenopsis orchids, I will leave a video link above. If you want to see my medium-sized Phalaenopsis orchids that are pot potted, I will leave a video link above as well as in the description box and at the bottom of this video. But in today's video, darling, <laughs> We are talking about the Big Mama Jamas, okay? The Big Mama Jamas. I have seven of them, but they are so big and so huge, they cannot fit in the same screen, okay? So we're gonna go one by one. This beautiful baby right here is my Phalaenopsis Maria, okay, that I got from Redlands Orchid Festival. She is my first nursery bought Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, if you are a new grower and you have your Phalaenopsis orchid from the grocery store, every time you bring your um, blooms home, they blast, your orchid dies, the root rot. Girl, you wanna get you an orchid from a nursery. Orchids for dummies, Fal Pal Darrell. I had Phalaenopsis orchids to continually die for me until for a whole year until I went to Redlands when I started to have success, okay? So, this beautiful baby right here is also featured in my ASMR video. I will leave a video link at the end, okay? But she gave me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beautiful blooms or beautiful buds, okay? And so I'm really happy about that. Not only that, this is just so sentimental to me because I've never had a Phalaenopsis orchid to um, give me a double spike until this big mama jama. So those big mama jamas that you see like this that is, you know, hard to maintain indoors, they are the ones that probably will give you the best success re-blooming. I'm very excited about this. I'm not gonna count it until it actually blooms, okay? So you guys wanna make sure that, uh-oh, you wanna make sure that you are staying updated, okay? So this flower spike, each and every time it grows a node, I like to just move it on up. That way the flower spike is um, staying straight. And I like to clip it on those nodes because sometimes those clips can penetrate the flower spike. You can see a little indentation down there and sometimes it can just hurt it. So you wanna be very careful okay, with your beautiful Phalaenopsis orchid. Now, she did produce a offshoot right here that I'm keeping a eye on. I hope that it does something, and I just hope that she is happy. She grows typically outdoors. She's indoors now because it's very cold, as it is just now February the 2nd over here, or at least when I recorded this video. Now, she has only lost um, two leaves since she has been in my care. You know, she was dormant for six months, honey. So sometimes when your orchid is dormant for such a long period of time, you could be looking out for double spikes or just a really beautiful display of flowers when she does bloom. So make sure to be patient. As you can see, the ridges in the leaves let us know that this is a very masculine, very strong plant okay and she has one look at these big leaves i mean this is girl this is my hand and this is the leaf honey it's the size of the leaf i know you can't see it that well but trust and believe one two three four five six seven eight nine she has nine beautiful leaves very beautiful orchid that i am truly in love with one of my favorites and also she's having the best success inside of one of these wooden baskets typically when the media breaks down which you have to use a lot of sphagnum moss once it breaks down girl it's it's like it all goes downhill honey but baby fab pal maria is hanging on in there 
Don't count her out just yet. One last thing, foul pals. A lot of us um, has this beautiful orchid right here. I see it all the time, especially associated with the American Orchid Society. If you have a name for this beautiful orchid, please leave it in the comment box below. I have a dear foul pal, Amy, that wants one, and I don't know the name. But very beautiful. This is actually a yellow cream color backdrop, okay? It's not white. It's like a yellow cream. It's beautiful. Welcome on back, everyone. Thank you so much for staying in tune. You guys are just so awesome and so incredible. I just really appreciate each and every one of you. Make sure to like this video, okay? Leave a nice little comment letting me know I'm on the right path. Also, if you see I've done something incorrectly, said something incorrectly, mama is not above reproof. Please, honey, please, honey, I'm not gonna get mad. Leave it in the comment box, Daryl. I think this X, Y, and Z, because mama is only gonna do a rebuttal because the proof is always in the pudding. It's in the pudding. <laughs> So this baby right here is actually my longest living Phalaenopsis orchis. I've had her over two years Oh, I mean over two years. Um, she is one of those just add ice orchids that I purchased. She is the first um, Phalaenopsis orchid that I saved and revived. Like I said, it's been two years and she's doing quite well. I am still waiting on a bloom. I really am. Very big, juicy roots, okay? She is really a happy camper, like my Auntie Vanessa says. Big, beautiful area roots are being shot out. So if you wanted to know um, if an orchid will, you know, turn into a miniature orchid once it loses all of its leaves, girl, no, it grows right back into a big one. These are the two original leaves that were left. This one look as if it is pulling nutrients from it. Okay, we keeping an eye on it. This doesn't look as good as I would like it to look. But this right here, very strong, very beautiful. Very strong and beautiful. Very strong and very beautiful. This is the first leaf that um, I grew in my care. You can see it's really small. And as you can see, they are getting bigger and bigger with a new leaf coming out and new roots. Let's us know it's in a vegetative state. Potted in a plastic slitted pot with orchiata bark on bottom and sphagnum moss on the top, okay? Now, this baby right here is also one of my longest living Phalaenopsis orchids. However, um, she starts doing that little wiggling. Anytime it does that wiggling, it's never a good sign or a good indication. Um, when I water my orchids, okay? When I water my orchids, my indoor plants, clean up all of my aquariums, you know, all, girl, the struggle is real, keeping up with all these orchids and water culture. Um, when I get to the moment where I start to break, when I start to cry, <laughs> and you like, no, I don't wanna do it anymore. I wanna do it anymore, Bob, I don't wanna do it. So girl, I still had 20 orchids left. That's not including my house plants or anything. I had 20 orchids that was left. So I need to get rid of 20 orchids. This is gonna be one of them. Um, I already proved the point that I can bring her back. She was, I mean, she was doing good. She still has roots. I know she fell out of the pot and stuff, but she has good viable roots. She's doing really well. Um, it's just that at the time I did not have any smaller pots. And so I had to over pot her. And so as a result, she just did not give me the best um, care or the best growth from my care that I gave her. So, honey, keep her lifted because she might be in the trash after this video. Stay Welcome on back, baby. Welcome on back. So, remember, I have seven huge Big Mama Jama Phalaenopsis orchids. I have 17 miniature Phalaenopsis orchids that are potted, and I have um, seven medium-sized Phalaenopsis orchids that are potted. This baby right here came from Hauserman's Orchids. It's gonna be that Jai Ho's pink girl, okay, with the big lip, um, that white pinkish beautiful bloom. I really enjoyed it, I really did. So um, ever since she has been in, um, out of bloom, she has produced this big, long, skinny leaf for me. She is still in the original container, not the best set up at all. Not the best set up at all. 
So she is in need of a repotting. I will do that for her. I loved her because she had that tinge of purple. She really did. But yes, honey, a big mama drama falling out of this orchid with the big lip. She's doing just fine. Potted in complete sphagnum moss. I water her once a month. Okay, stay tuned. Welcome on back, baby. Welcome, welcome, welcome on back. Now, this beautiful baby is Brian. It was given to me by Brian at Artwork Orchids and Beekeeping. He is a dear friend to the show. I love him very much. He is also a fellow Alabamian. Now, he give, he had given me two Phalaenopsis orchids. The other one was the first time I potted one into those wooden baskets. It was an epic fail. It was an epic fail, girl. <laughs> But this beautiful baby right here is um, actually the Phalaenopsis that has bloomed the most for me. I've had her almost two years now. This is the second time that she has rebloomed for me. She has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beautiful um, leaves. She is also growing roots while she is in spike. So this is a beautiful, beautiful spike. She is potted completely in a ceramic pot with a little orchiata bark on the bottom and sphagnum moss pretty much um, half and half on top, okay? Now, I will show you that she is doing the wiggly. Oh, well, she's become a lot more stable. She was wiggling, okay? I guess these new roots are really anchoring her in, um, in place. Oh, and I can see a root up here as well that is keeping her in place. So she knows what to do. She knows what to do. Anytime she have the uh -oh, anytime she has the roots to grow at the bottom, they eventually just rot off. That's the bad thing about you know ventilated pots. Sometimes the orchid does not necessarily know what is best for them. Look at all of that purple. Okay, it was even worse than that. I pushed her down because the spike had grown to um, over overthrow the lighting, if you will. And so I am very excited because this baby is giving, she is being so good to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight buds as of now. Okay, she has some beautiful yellow blooms. She really does. So I'm really excited about that. Not only that, but this right here could possibly be a Kiki as well. Let me get it together, okay? I wish I can give you a better angle, but I'm having such a hard time and I definitely don't want to break my beautiful flower spike that is not being supported at all. So stay tuned and keep- Welcome back, Fab Pals. This is some of the, or this is the worst news in my collection. However, this is a phalaenopsis that was given to me by someone I'm no longer friends with. And just like the relationship, it was not watered too often, okay? So it just shriveled up and died. I love how you can use a phalaenopsis orchids to metaphor how you are feeling in events that you could possibly go through. So what I'm going to do is keep these um, flower spikes or stakes, I'm sorry. I'm going to keep the clips Okay, and um, honey, she's going to hit the trash can. She's going to hit the trash can. Yes, she is. She is one of those orchids that is just, girl, mm-mm, mm-mm. Oh, good day. Bad. Mama had to go handheld for this, so you can really appreciate my beautiful Shillerania that I've had for two years now. I purchased her in 2019 from the Redlands Orchid Festival. Okay, um, this is my Phalaenopsis Shillerania Wilson. This is the first time that she has rebloomed for me, which I didn't purchase her in bloom. So I'm really excited to see what the blooms will look like. Now, Shillerania Wilson, honey, has been having a hard time with a lot of salt build up, I believe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, Fab Pals, yes, I don't know where all of that is on the pot. Um, a lot of dieback with the roots. Um, I think it's just time for her to have a good old repotting. I really do. She lost a leaf recently. Okay, um, someone, Fab Pal Karina, I believe, told me that that is normal behavior for Shillerania. It's okay for her to lose a leaf while she is in spike. 
Now, let me show you. She is just now starting, uh-oh, to form buds. Um, I think that she is really waiting on my birthday, which is going to be the 16th of February to bloom. Okay. Um, so far, I believe she has given me one, two, three, four, five, six beautiful buds. Okay. She has just now started to produce those buds. She has an offshoot that might, may and may not produce um, buds. One looks as if it might already be bud blessed. I don't know, but I'm going to keep you guys updated. Another offshoot right here. So, I mean, girl, she is zipping it and she is zooming it. She is zipping it and she is zooming it. Also, one of the reasons why it's so hard to grow one of these big mama jumbo phalaenopsis indoors. But girl, once she blooms, it will really be worth it. I hope that you guys are loving, loving, okay? Loving and laughing and growing together. Mm-hmm. Until next time.